Okay, in our last video, we introduced the different verbs that we are learning in this chapter in Japanese, and we talked a little bit about how to use those verbs to talk about what we do and don't do. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about a new particle that will help us to form longer, more complicated sentences. This new particle is o. So we may have talked back when we were introducing hiragana about how we only use this like last o for one specific use, and that is this use. Um, so when we use this, when you see this hiragana, this o, you will always know that it is um, being used in this specific way. So let's take a look at some sentences and see if you can guess what the particle o is being used for. Sushi o tabemasu. Sushi o tabemasu. Nihongo o hanashimasu. Nihongo o hanashimasu. So, tabemas is to eat, right? And sushi is sushi, just like the word that you already know in English. So, sushi o tabemas, to eat sushi. How about nihongo hanashimas? So, hanashimas is to talk, to speak. Nihongo is the Japanese language. So, Nihongo Hanashimas to speak Japanese. So, we use O to mark the object that receives the action, the direct object. So, if you're not familiar with this term, we could think of it as so, for example, when we eat, what are we eating? Sushi. We speak, what do we speak? Japanese. So when we have a sentence in Japanese, we want to have our verb here at the end, and then before it, we can have our particle with o to tell us what we are eating, what we are speaking. Let's take a look at a couple of sentences that will show us some examples. So to drink coffee. In Japanese, so what is the word for to drink? Nomimas. And coffee, one of our new words for this chapter, kohi. It's in katakana, which we will learn later in this chapter, but we can know the sound is kohi. Kohi o nomimas. So the verb is at the end, right? Kohi o nomimas. Let's try another. To watch TV. So, TV is one of our new words from this chapter. Terebi. This is another one that is in katakana, but we can know it, the sound. Terebi o mimas is to watch. Terebi o mimas. How about to eat lunch? Lunch is hiru gohan. Hiru gohan. So, hiru gohan o tabemasu. Hiru gohan o tabemasu. Let's try some. You can take a look at the list of vocab and at your list of new verbs to see if it will help you. So, this first one is to watch a movie. So let's start with a movie in Japanese is eiga. So eiga o mimas. Eiga o mimas. How about this one? A book in Japanese we already know is hon, right? So to read a book, hon o yomimas. Hon o yomimas. How about to drink coffee? Coffee is kohi. Kohi o 
nomimas. Kohi o nomimas. How about to eat breakfast? Breakfast in Japanese is asagohan. So asagohan o tabemas. Asagohan o tabemas. So once again, we use the o to mark what we are doing something to. So we are going to watch. What are we watching? A movie. We read. What are we reading? A book. We drink. What are we drinking? Coffee. We eat. What are we eating? Breakfast. So when we ask questions in Japanese, once again, the only thing we have to do is add a ka to the ending. So we can ask someone, sushi o tabemasu ka? What do you think it means? That's right, this is, do you eat sushi? So a yes or no question. Do you eat sushi? Yes or no? We can answer with, hai tabemasu. If we do eat it, or Ie tabemasen if we don't eat it. So, minasan, how about you? Sushi o tabemasu ka? So, either hai tabemasu if you do eat sushi, or Ie tabemasen if you don't. So, when we ask a question, we just have to ask the verb with ka, and then we can answer with hai, the mas form, or ie, the masen form.